for Alps, it's a, it's a castle of many rivers. We live with this nature, we live with this glacier, with this mountain, with these trees, with this animal. It, it is a composition of, of our life, like the fish in the sea, like the sea, like all these elements. Comparison between human experience and measurements just shows that um, what we nowadays think nowadays think is really a very very good winter is true for the last 10 to 20 years, but it's nothing compared to what our measurements say used to be in the decades before. <music> There was a time not not so far ago, so few years ago, that we scientists thought maybe since we may have more precipitation due to climate change because warmer air can hold more um, humid humidity, that we may have more precip and more precip in the higher regions would say more snow since there, although it's warming, it's still cold enough. Uh, but nowadays, from observations and also from the newest climate models, we see that the temperature is really um, the controlling parameter. Climate change is often seen as, as not as a challenge, but as something very, very frightening or very dangerous. You don't want to talk about it. You don't know what, don't know what to do. Or some people think, okay, we have to change everything within a year or two or so, and. At least in the, in, the, in the tourism sector, in the winter tourism sector, I think we can say that we have about one generation to react. I think it really takes, it also takes one generation um, to to look for alternative, to look for alternatives and to change the system to become less dependent on snow. You cannot close your ski area and, and say, okay, now we're doing something else. So it takes about yeah, 10, maybe 20 years when the younger generation comes to the um, into the positions to decide what to do. And we are still lucky that we have that time to react at least to adapt to climate change, but what we th should think about is to mitigate climate change and that's what we have to do right now. <laughs> 